Hello, family, and good evening. You know I had to come back at least once a night to talk with y'all before y'all lay y'all good heads down, say your prayers, and curl up in fetal position and get that well-rested, well-deserved relax of sleep to come down on your memory banks, okay? But before you gather yourselves... And get into that mode. We got to talk about this story tonight, honey. I just can't believe it. I thought more Shekana to do the basic thing of being a sensible, well thought out person. But her, hell, she out there partying with the rest of the animals. Okay, because I'm going to call them animals because that's what they're acting like. But Candy Birds, happy birthday. And you were crowned the mass singer, first female winner or something to that effect. But yeah, okay, happy birthday to you. But I have to say, by you being a mother of three, what the hell were you thinking of? Now, it's just me. No pun intended. Not trying to throw salt on another black woman or woman, period. But when we get into that mother phase of our life and we're protecting our cubs and our rest of our family members, we tend to lean on the understanding of being better, doing better, and contributing better to society. Let's talk about it, family. This heifer done went out there. Now, people going to say she was going to a surprise they surprised her i'm like well i would have surprised their asses when they drove me to wherever they were driving me to and showed me this surprise party i was like surprise thank you take many pictures because i'm finna keep rolling on we're gonna be rolling 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 like the big bear women the big wheels on the yellow bus go round and round round and round round and round don't stop the big yellow bus goes round and round early in the morning and that's how we would have went out that thing because i got to think about blaze i got to think about ace and then i got to think about riley kayla my mama knowing her mama 70 something years old don't need that shit hell you were just in quarantine now how in the hell are you gonna go out there go to some secluded place i don't care you know it seemed like it was more than 10 to 12 hell it looked like you probably had 50 people up in there 50 people can you just didn't show all of us what was really being done and, and said and you sitting up there rocking doing the um uh, I forgot what is it the nay nay and whatever i'm like girl i don't care if you were two-stepping it you shouldn't have stepped one foot out of that van that tar probably had rented for you and he probably part of this he probably part of this too i'm like god are y'all crazy and then you sitting up here doing a psa commercial on the radio talking about stay in it's not worth it protect your family protect yourself just stay in you know and i'm like then you're gonna be out here doing a girl help Hypocrite. Hypocrite. I ain't see Monica up in there. And Monica was a, pro a part of that PSA that was being broadcasted on the re radio stations here in Atlanta. I ain't seeing her out and about doing no crazy ass shit like that. Or if she was, she you, she definitely said, don't put me on the camera. Don't put me on the camera. I got an image to think about. I know what I don't say to all these Atlanteans running around here. I'm telling them to stay in. If you can't stay in, mask up like Killer Mike said. If you, if you can't stay in, uh, what do you say? Damn, it was cute how they said it. But it was, uh, you got to go out, mask up. No, if you can't stay in, stay in. If you got to go out, mask up. Or some shit like that. It was rhyming. Maybe I can get it together later on. I can't tell you right now. But it's just like, okay, okay, I understand what you're saying. The killer might got a barber salon down here. He ain't open that shit up yet. They would want to kill folks out there. White, black, brown, blue, yellow. I don't care. I'm telling you people, keep some heads about yourselves. Keep some heads about yourselves, okay? Don't let people tell you what to do in time of crisis. Sees how they thought it was something when it first broke out in February. Had they been known about it in what November last year? Then they just like shutting down everything, like it was white on rice. Uh, come February of this year, and you know, just because they want to use Georgia as a staple center to uh be the first one that open back up and have a slew of deals come fall, you know, it's just gonna be our bad look, you know what I'm saying. And our bad representation up here, far as our representatives representing our state. But you know, we're a Republican state, and I don't need to say no more after that, okay? But I was like, what kind of 
fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent shit activity is Candy Burris leaving as a legacy. Hell, she ain't gonna have no legacy. She keep going out there saying one thing to the public and then doing another thing in the public. I'm like, hypocrisy at its best. And y'all sit up here and want to take up for her. So, oh, she a good businesswoman. Oh, she just didn't that. Well, hell, she ain't going to be here long enough. She keep fooling around and doing the same little stuff she doing out there in the public. Trying to celebrate her birthday. I mean, how selfish can you be? I mean, how many more birthdays can you pray to have? You know what I'm saying? She peep, peep, um picking at the OGs and stuff like that. Hell, she ain't going to have time to be an OG. Not when she's sitting up here going out here with the corona, having a mask on, having a mask off, and you sitting out there with a slew of, of folks that you don't know where they been, who they been with, where they where they was before they got there, where they done traveled to. You don't know all that information. And you sitting up there taking all that shit back to Riley. Taking it back, see what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a mask event. Where the mask at? Where is the mask? They ain't six feet distancing. What the hell going on here? Y'all see what I'm talking about? I, used to, I thought better on Shakana. Because Shakana always, she no, no nonsense type of person. Why she out there without a mask? Okay, Tiny. Now, Tiny got on her mask, but it ain't covering nothing. I'm like, this ain't time for no block party? Hell. Are y'all crazy? Oh, uh, I mean. The accolades she get, it just, you know, like, you can't even celebrate her birthday. You can't even celebrate the stuff she got because she do stupid shit out here like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking about, okay, you don't care about yourself. Think about your family, Ken. Think about your seven and some of your old mama that you always around. Think about your newborn baby you just had. Think about Ace. He ain't got a chance to even floss and gloss. You, you trying to bring the shit back to him? I mean, did you go into a hazmat soup? Did you got? Did you get showered down with all these dis, uh, contaminating type things? You know how the scientists be going? Well, not scientists, but the uh, people that be doing. Like, let's just say people at the CDC. When they be messing with all these dangerous viruses and diseases. And they got to get decontaminated and stuff like that. Did you walk through something like that, Ken? Before you took it behind back home to your family? Girl. Okay, so y'all know how I feel about this shit. That's what I said, girl. Don't tell me nothing about them housewives. You try to give them one good up, and then they come back some days or some weeks or some months later and throw salt in your face. That's why I said, uh-uh. I take them how they give me. Whatever they do out there, mm-mm. If it ain't copacetic, if it ain't true to form, it ain't her to be acting like a grown-ass woman making boss decisions and boss, uh, we call it, determinations of what's good for her and her family. Then I got to come in. I got to say something. Because I'm like, file all on this. File all on this. Candy, you're fake. You're foolery. You're fuckery. You're fraudulent. And your shitty activity and demeanor has just disgusted me tonight. And that's why you on the platform to talk about before I go to bed. I'm going to say my prayers. I'm going to repent. I know. But that, that shit like that disturbs me. Now, y'all know my daughter just got married. And we had... Total four in the household. We had the minutes. You know, it, it kind of ran like 16 people, but they all weren't here at the same time. And everybody was wearing a mask. And I told Sean, I said, We ain't blown. You know, when you cut your cake, you know, and candles on the wedding cake, but you know what I'm saying? Don't touch nothing. Just slice and fall back because everybody wants some cake. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, girl, if I can have those type of morals and values and thinking about myself my family and other people that I may come in contact girl are you kidding me look at that mask no mask nowhere no mask I'm like and Todd you really need to cut that beard you I'm hoping you're not uh I'm you know it's not a religious thing I'm I don't think you're a Jew and I don't think you're a Mormon and I don't think you're Amish so why is that beard growing out of control but you sitting out here oh you don't want to get your hair cut or your, your beard trimmed but you sitting out here want to go and have a corona party because that's what it's saying like y'all celebrating corona y'all you know y'all throwing caution to the wind y'all don't give a shit that's what I'm saying but that's just my pun intended. Now y'all know how I feel. And let's get into this article and then you all can tell me how y'all feel about this fuck shit. Okay? Because that's all it is. She got, gave me a bad taste in my mouth. And, and I, I don't think I'm ever going to get over it. And I might be biased when it comes to uh, drag. How y'all call it? Drag. But I'll be saying getting people together. I'm going to get her together every time I see her. Because see, it's going to be stapled in my mind. Like she told Nene, I'm going to be embedded in your motherfucking brain. Candy, this little thing you pulled tonight. Or when I caught it. I don't know when it actually happened. I don't give a shit when it did. But it was caught on video. I'm going to always have that embedded in my mind. I'm going to always say, unfit mom. Unfit human being. 
unsaid period. That's what's going to come to my memory. Because you can't erase it. Because you did the shit. You know what I'm saying? An OG. A person about their business. They was a oh, y'all did this for me. Oh, I love every last one of y'all. I really do. But I'm going to have to roll on. I'm going to have to roll on now. Okay, but y'all celebrate. Y'all good. But I'm going to be better. Because I'm going to be better than this situation y'all trying to put me in. I got a family. I got a mother who's in her 70s. I care about my life. I want to see another one, God willing. That's how I would have played that shit. And I would have slapped Todd upside the head. But I guess true entertainment brought but I'm ran these women crazy where they cannot think straight. But anyway, it's up to us to set them straight and keep them straight in, in the public eye. So when you go back and look at some videos or, or old videos and people doing the same commentary on this piece uh, that I'm doing, Candy, just take it for what it's worth. Because this was a, a bad move, a very, very bad move that you did because you are selfish. Yes, you don't bit out that uh, entertainment bug. And it's just the infested you all over. Because you only think about yourself. I mean, you can have a private celebration at home. Just you and Todd, candlelight, candlelit, and all that kind of stuff. Getting your little making on and whatever. You know, you couldn't do that for your birthday. You couldn't have a family forum type birthday just for this year. I'm not saying you couldn't celebrate it to do the big uh, next year. If, you know, Corona one's still around or another disease or, or illness uh, manifesting itself, you know, as we speak. I don't know, but I think you could have waited. You should have drew caution, especially we going around here doing all these PSAs, talking about stay in, mask up if you got to go. Girl, ugh. I don't even want nothing else about you, can I really don't. I really don't. But anyway, let's get into this article that Showbiz Cheat Sheet had put out. And it was Trey Magnum had brought uh, the article out to fruition from his employer of uh, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Okay, he titled the article, Candy Birds Breaks Down Why She and NeNe Leaks Are Feuding on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Why They Reverted Back to the Status Quo That They Are are in as we speak today okay well see can i can see because of that thank truly fuckery fraudulent activity demeanor of a behavior you have going on i can see why you reverted bad because old g's just can't get with new g's and their new way of thinking especially when it's coming to this birthday party situation okay i'm just oh girl but let's get into the article let's get into the article it said everyone can't stop talking about the arguments between nene leaks and candy burrs during the real housewives of atlanta reunion episode before the virtual reunion episodes began airing on bravo burr spoke about the issues between she and leaks and why they persist okay candy birds has made headlines for feuding with nene leaks during the reunion special birds and her back and forth with on and off again friend nene leaks have dominated more or most headlines that have surrounded the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion special. Now my sidebar, because you know I have them. Get down with it. Get into it. Because that's how we do it over here. Girl, you and Nene ain't never been friends. Y'all been feuding ever since I've known y'all to be put together. Y'all tried to like each other. But of course, Nene got to throw salt on some things. And you didn't like them. And you tried to call yourself coming up for the one up for her. Total bullshit. But anyway... Y'all ain't never liked each other. Y'all been cordial, I could say, here and there. But y'all ain't never liked each other. And you don't even play that role that you liked in Nene. Girl, you just glad to be on this platform. And you just going to try to do it as quick as possible, however possible, whenever possible. And you're going to stay on this platform. That's all. That's all, girl. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, In an interview with Hollywood Life preceding the reunion, Burris spoke about her issues with leaks. She explained, If you are a real fan of our show, you would know that pretty much from the time I came on the show in season two, all the way up until when I was pregnant with Ace, Nene and I pretty much argued or had some type of tension every year up until that point. When I was pregnant with Ace, she and I made a little vow to be more respectful to each other and not be so negative towards each other now i'm like what mechanic when we was going through that whole eva marcel situation and she was getting married i thought you and uh, nene was uh cooled in y'all was trying to make amends this that and the third stop lying candy you don't like her pretty much i would venture to say you don't like nobody on that platform okay all of y'all are haters of each other. All of y'all want that number one spot. All of y'all trying to take care of y'all families, you say. Okay? But if we know it's all about that money, that fame, that power, and that prestige that 
Hollywood, which is the new Atlanta wood, is giving you. Okay, if you didn't have all that, if everything wasn't centered attention on you, you will revert back to your old self. None in existent and you'll be in the background writing music for other artists. You get where I'm going with this candy. So, yeah, I guess you should pay a lot of humble pie and homage to Tiny for even putting your name out there when she didn't want to be a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, let's keep it real. We're going to talk 100 and we're going to talk facts, okay? But anyway, moving from that situation, going back to the article, it said... Um, Birds, uh, birds continue. Well, needless to say, we have reverted back to the way we were prior to our oath and going into the next season. I would probably have to say for me, I don't know how she's feeling. But for me, I feel like I will reciprocate the energy that she gives me. So if she's going to come in with the bullshit, she's going to get bullshit. If she wants to be pleasant, then I will be pleasant. I'm like, can a girl stop it? Because even if you were pleasant with her, you would go back and kiki with Kenya and Eva and Cynthia and who else you can conspire with and, and, and talk bad about Nene or say this, that, and the third. You, you'll be talking behind somebody bad, girl. So let's just keep it real. You don't like her. She don't like you. It's status quo. Don't put no love there because ain't no love up in that mess. Okay. Anyway, going back to the article, it said Burris just recently celebrated her birthday and Leaks posted about it. Burris celebrated her 44th birthday over the weekend. Leaks issued a passive aggressive birthday message to Burris on social media. She messaged poke fun at their feud while alleging that Burris has been faking her issues. She wrote on Instagram, I would not let the fake beef you made up to stop me from wishing you a happy birthday and posted my favorite pick of us, Candy. Everybody go wish at Candy a happy birthday. Then tune in to hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta to watch Candy have the fakest want some smoke beef with Nene segment at 8 p.m. tonight on Bravo TV. Happy birthday number two, forgettable um, candy man, fun shade, right? Mrs. Atlanta only, and all those was hashtags. Okay, so. They gave, she gave the worst picture she could possibly have of her and Candy both. Uh, if you go to her uh, Nene Lee's um, uh, profile on Instagram, you'll see the picture. That's when I think Candy was pregnant and Nene, hell, I don't know what it was. It's probably some function they were at together. But either or, Nene's still picking the fence. Okay, still picking the fence. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, oh, I should say poking the bear. Burr's husband, Todd Tucker, planned a surprise party for her birthday over the weekend. See, I told you to that damn Todd. Uh, Y'all keep trying to get Todd the benefit of the doubt. Only thing Todd has done for me, <laughs> basically, was show me he can be a good daddy to Ace. Okay, beautiful scene. Love him. Love him with his son. But when it comes to him... And his daughter, when it comes to him making money, trying to stack up against his wife, Candy, it's lackluster. And I can't have anything but, again, opportunists come to mind. But who in their right mind that love themselves, love their so-called family, love their children, would set up a surprise birthday party out there for the masses to attend? Okay? And did y'all see Todd? He didn't have a mask on not one time, not in any photos that they showed or I had presented to you all. And that damn mask, the candy guy, of course, you know, that's not a fitted mask. That's not really protecting anything really from anybody that would or she could have come in contact with or people that's coughing out there in the atmosphere uh, or, or, or sneezing. Them, them droplets can go real quick, real far, real fast. And, you know, it's just like, girl, are you taking any of this serious? You're saying one thing on these public service announcement things on the radio, you know, trying to convince people to stay in, mask up and all this kind of stuff. And then you're doing the total opposite. And, and your husband with that beard, he needs to shave it off. I mean, cut, get the seals. You can do it yourself, okay? Trim him up. Make him look a little bit more presentable. I can't believe it. But going back, 
We don't find a culprit. It was Todd Tucker who called himself arranging a surprise birthday party for his wife. What is he doing? Trying to kill you out? Trying to kill both of y'all out? Hell, trying to kill the whole fam now? Girl, I'm glad Mama Joyce wasn't in that scene. And she probably thought you was a fool too. And probably told you you was a fool and you was crazy. But anyway, I don't know. I'm just my speculation from another mother to another mother. She probably did tell Ken, you crazy as hell. Don't come over my house. You need to quarantine for 14 days. All right? I'm just saying. But anyway, these are her so-called bosom buddies, all right? Ain't now one of them got on no mask. Ain't now one of them got on no mask, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says the theme party was mask on. As every person in attendance was supposed to wear a mask in order to not transmit coronavirus, COVID-19, several of her friends and fellow reality uh, television stars were in attendance, including Tamika Tina Harris, Shamia Morton, uh, Shakana uh, Anderson, and Sher... Sher-, Sher- Rashida Frost. None of the main women of the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members were in, ten- were in attendance. Well, I'm like, okay, you're right. Because they got sense. They got a whole hell of a lot of sense. Candy Burns, on the other hand, her and Todd ain't got no sense. And you're talking about representing Atlanta. Nah, baby, she ain't representing the better half of Atlanta because we still sheltering in. Me, myself, and I, we got myself on still quarantine. I'm still in the house before 9 o'clock. I'm still wearing my mask every time I get a chance to, okay? In the office, out of the office, <coughs> shopping, here and there. Hey, we down like four flat tires. We ain't trying to catch it because, like I said, one of my older family members have it. So, I guess you have to experience. Some people, it, you have to have that experience of somebody having it and seeing them struggle or whatever with a, you know, a, a breath or two. You know, having to have to be on a ventilator and this, that, and that. I don't have to imagine it. I don't have to have it happen to my family member to say this shit is real. I had a... a, a, a classmate you know we 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 knew each other in high school and we ran in the same circles we part of the same band and all this kind of stuff i think i told y'all about i was a majorette she was in the band flag core and she played an instrument here and there because she was in the band for like four years anyway make a long story short she got covid died okay and child ain't never 52 i'm 52 okay so shit is real like him. So we can't go around here doing all this indiscretion with all this fake fool reflecting following the shitty activity behavior. She lost me. She lost me. She probably ain't going to get me back in my life of living because this is too much. Too much. Okay, but fam, y'all get down in your comment, in the comment section. Tell me what y'all felt about this situation. And you can still wish her a happy birthday if you wish. Don't wish it on my platform. But okay, I, got, I take it back. I take it back. I'm being a little bit too hard. Wish her a happy birthday because she might not have another one. How she playing these little Russian roulette games. Her and her family might not be here next year. Okay, God willing, it don't, uh, don't happen. But see, this kind of thing, you kind of take to heart when you know people are out there that's doing the right thing, you know, following the letter of the law and all this, that, and third. And then it's between Candy Burris and one of her family members that was out there, you know, with her. Or she took it back to them and they agreed to let her go do this. Well, really, we ain't going to blame nobody but her and Todd. We just going to put it where shit belongs. If they had to be on a respirator and I had two people that were doing what they're supposed to do and this, that, and the third. You think I waste my time trying to uh, save Todd and Candy when they weren't doing what they were supposed to do, even though they're supporting, you know, wear a mask when you go out. If you don't have to go out, stay in attitude, but they're doing the opposite. Hell no. Nah. They wouldn't get a ventilator, respirator. They wouldn't get shit from me. Okay. And I'll just be looking like, okay, where were you in the last uh, month or so? Because on social media, we saw you just throwing caution to the wind. Now, this person over here, They've been in the house doing what they had to do. Just unlucky. You don't, just a lucky stick that they drew and they end up getting it. Guess what? You ain't getting it. I don't care how much money you got, how much people you know, as far as empowered to stand up. But you ain't getting it, babe. You ain't getting it. Just take your last breath because you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. All right? Life is precious. Let's cherish it like it is, okay? Ain't no money. No amount of money is worth getting something like that or something even worse because you want to celebrate your birthday. And your husband made a very uh, flawed decision in having a celebration outside in the public where everybody ain't wearing masks. Just laughing, kiki and spin all spit out in the atmosphere and just that neck. I have them probably drunk. You know, and sometimes when you do talk a lot, and, 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 and you're not, you know, say you're kind of drunk or whatever. You do uh, spit, you know. Sometimes spit just come out just because you're talking. These are droplets, okay. 
Girl. Anyway, happy birthday, Candy. I hope you're proud of yourself. And Todd, I hope you're proud uh, in arranging this sh uh, shitty stuff you did. Okay? The public eye is really looking at y'all. It ain't for good. It ain't for the good, all right? But that's all I have, fam. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about this situation. You know I always like to hear from you. And I will see y'all next video. Peace.